Some interesting details have come out with the whole chill situation that happened. Man, I should just call this CSI weasel from now on. I mean, too many of these guys are getting into trouble. But for the chill situation, we don't know why this happened. And we don't know exactly what happened. Some people might be lying. Some people might be telling the truth. We have no idea until we hear the full story. And what I'm going to be reading to you guys is from one side of the story with some police reports as well. So the alleged victims, they are pressing forward this lawsuit as well as some reports from the police. We have no comments from Chill Sun and we don't know his side of the story, except what Brennan Shaw put forward and I don't think he should have. I don't think Brennan should be speaking if Chill's not speaking. Everything I'm gonna be talking about are allegations. Nothing is proven, nothing is fact, but this is what they're gonna be bringing to court against Chill Sonnen. So everybody remembers that Chill got arrested and there's a small video of him walking with the police. And it looked like he had a ripped shirt and all this stuff. We don't know exactly what happened there. But then later we found out he's getting 11 charges of battery against him. One of those is a felony due to strangulation. And it was filed against him by the alleged victims that six people were attacked, including a man who was strangled. Now, the allegations from the lawsuit are pretty much saying that Chill struck and strangled a 48-year-old dentist, threw his 46-year-old wife up against the wall and struck her as well punched some guest that was calling for the security in the jaw, kneed one of the security guys in the nose, and kicked another one in the chest. It's pretty much alleging that he went on an intoxicated rampage attacking random people. But there were no real details in the file until today. And this sounds pretty disturbing, and even like something out of like a Jason Statham movie. Man, if these allegations are true, John Jones is never gonna let this go. I'm just gonna say it again. These are only allegations. Do not go after Chill Sun and do not go after the other people of this case. This is just what is being brought forward by the alleged victims. So according to the lawsuit, Christopher and Julie are a middle-aged married couple, Christopher being a 48-year-old dentist, Julie 46 years old, around 7.30 p.m., were walking back to the hotel on the 35th floor. This happened on December 18, and they said that they saw a man in the hallway who appeared to be intoxicated and, by their words, uttering unintelligible noises. And as they walked past him, the men knocked the drink out of Christopher's hand, by their words, without provocation or any communication whatsoever. So pretty much, the guy didn't say anything, he didn't do anything that deserved this from the man. Then when Julie told Sonnen they were heading to their room and quote-unquote did not want any trouble, that's when allegedly, Chill Sonnen began punching Christopher. So the wife says something to Chill, and then Chill went after the guy. Chill then allegedly put the guy in a chokehold, and another hotel guest was able to get in there and pull Chill off of Christopher. Chill started to elbow the guest. It is then said that Christopher was laying on the ground and witnessed Chill turn his attention to Julie and by their words viciously attacked her. He said the image of watching a man throwing his wife up against a wall and punching her in the face still haunts him. Julie is 5'3", 125 pounds, while Sonnen has a history of fighting the middleweight and heavyweight divisions. According to the lawsuit, Julie fell to the floor after Sonnen threw her up against a wall and Chill attempted to lift her up by the coat but Christopher was able to grab her ankle to allow her to slip out of the jacket. But then there's another guy, a guest told the police that he was randomly punched in the jaw before he closed his door, calling the security. The lawsuit also alleges that Chill's punching several security guards, which consists of kneeing one of them in the nose and kicking another one in the chest before he was detained by the employees. And that was the extent of the allegations against Chill with the specific attack. Julie and Christopher said that they're still seeing doctors in California while recovering from the concussions. Both were bruised and Julie had a split lip. The report says that they're suffering apparent minor injuries. Now, Chill has not spoken publicly of what happened. It does state that Brennan Shaw relayed something that he claimed to be Chill's version of the event. Oh boy, here we go. He said, quote, Some drunk guy with his girl kept making comments about Chill's son and his wife, Brittany, talking about her body parts in front of him. Will play stupid games, win stupid prizes, because you are talking and disrespecting one of the toughest guys on the planet, and definitely one of the toughest to ever compete in the UFC or Bellator for that matter. And you're doing it in his face, then there's going to be repercussions, unquote. But according to the police report, Chill's wife was asleep for the entirety of the brawl. That's by their words. The entirety of the brawl, Chill's wife was asleep. So if this allegedly happened, that some drunk guy was talking about Chill's wife in front of him, for it to make any kind of sense, it would have to have happened earlier in that day. Because Chill's wife said that she took Ambien at about 4 p.m. and woke up to the security guards trying to escort out the room. And remember, this incident allegedly happened at 7.30 p.m. Now, according to an officer, he saw that Chill's wife was actually injured. He did not elaborate on what the injuries were, and Chill's wife said that she didn't even know how she got injured. The officer said, quote, I then began to question Brittany on how she obtained her injuries, but she was unsure of how she obtained them. The officer then questioned her about any possible domestic disputes or violence between her and her husband, where she said that Chill would never be violent with her. After hearing these comments, Christopher, 
one of the alleged victims, said that the podcast made him angry about hearing this and he wants the truth out there now. He said, quote, I just want people to know that it was a totally unprovoked attack. We were just walking into our room to plan a sushi dinner. We did nothing wrong and this guy went on a crazy rampage, unquote. That is everything that happened here. None of this is proven yet. We're gonna have to see when it happens. I think the case is on Wednesday, but man, these are not good allegations against Chael because as you know how it is today, there's always like the public trial. People will always put things on you, especially when they hear that a woman got attacked. A lot of people are not gonna have any sympathy for that guy, even if he's proven innocent. Even if Chill's proven innocent, there's going to be so many people that are always going to hang that over this. I hope Chill did none of this stuff because it doesn't sound like him. We saw the video of him getting escorted out by the police. And that looks strange, honestly. That looked out of character too. But everybody knows Chill's son as a guy who never drinks, never parties, never really have any kind of bad influence in his own life. So for him to get into an intoxicated rampage, that's like so far away from what we know about Chill Sonnen. It's so hard to believe. But there are a lot of charges against the guy. There's a lot of alleged victims here. According to an officer... His wife was somewhat injured and she didn't disclose how it happened. That's not a lot of good signs because it does also speak to what happened with John Jones, right? Jones' wife also said that she didn't know what happened to her or it wasn't really a big thing, even though the officer said that she was more injured than she was given off. Did his wife actually not know what happened to her? Maybe she hurt herself somehow, doesn't remember how it happened. She took Ambien, so I don't know if that clouded what happened to her earlier, or it's her covering for her husband. We have no idea what happened here. It could be so many different things. But one thing's for certain, I have to disagree with Brendan Schaub. That is a completely irresponsible thing to say. Some drunk guy was talking about Chill's wife, so he goes and attacks multiple people for it. If he attacked one guy, then it makes a lot more sense. But Brendan Schaub's statement makes absolutely no sense. And if they are true, if all of these people, or at least the two people putting the lawsuit forward, if those people did something against Chill's wife, then I understand it. But if they didn't, then even Brendan looks bad in this whole situation. Why would he even say this? If Chill's not going to say anything, Brennan should also not be saying anything. Like, who told him to put that forward? So there's many questions about this allegation that need to be answered. The main thing I'm really thinking about is if Chill's wife was actually injured, why was she injured? How did that exactly happen? Because that would probably tell us the main thing about this whole story. To me, if it's true that he attacks security guards, that doesn't look good on him. Maybe he was angry going crazy, but if he was angry and going crazy that kind of does match up with what the alleged victims are saying, that he was on a rampage. And when you're on a rampage, you're not thinking clearly, which makes you go into a courtroom at a disadvantage. Hopefully that didn't happen. Hopefully they didn't attack all these people. We're going to have to hear from Chill's son inside and then really get the truth of the story. We're going to have to see what the real story is because that's just one side of the events. Again, I hope this did not happen. I hope this all doesn't turn back on him for what he's been saying about John Jones. And leave the comments below what you guys think about this whole thing. Do you guys believe it? Do you guys think Chill did this? Or do you think it's just so out of character and so outlandish it was just made up? Of course, none of us know yet. But leave those in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.